Hey students, so today I'm here to discuss the solution of the question that we gave you. I'm sure that all of you must have tried this. So it's a very interesting question. If you see, we are given an expression here. We need to find out the digit at the unit's place. I know that this expression looks tricky, but let's see how simply we can solve this. Just by using the basic laws of exponents, we will be solving this question here. So 10 by 3 to the power 1001 times square root of 3 to the power 2002 plus 21 to the power 2002 upon 5 to the power 2002 plus 35 to the power 2002. If you see, all of them have got the same powers over here. So I'm going to keep this as it is, that is 10 by 3 to the power 1001. Let's first simplify this much part here. Okay, so what do we have here? Let's put the square root. This is 3 to the power 2002 plus this 21, this 21 over here could be written as 3 times 7. So I'll simply say this is 3 times 7 to the power 2002. Why we are doing this? Because here I could see 3. So I'm trying to basically build up a relationship, right? Now in the denominator, I have 5 to the power 2002 plus this is 35. So I'm going to split this 35 as 5 times 7. Okay, so that is going to be 5 times 7. Again, the power will remain the same. That's 2002. Okay, so this could be written as 10 by 3 to the power 1001 times square root of, we have got 3 to the power 2002 plus this 3 times 7. They have got this power 2002. That means this power is for both of them. It could be written as 3 to the power 2002 times 7 to the power 2002. Makes sense, right? Now, in the denominator, we will do the same thing. 5 to the power 2002 plus 5 to the power 2002. This power 2002 is both for 5 as well as 7 times 7 to the power 2002. Now, if you carefully observe this, here there is a plus sign. And here we have got 3 to the power 2002 and here we have this thing. In both of these, we have got one thing common that is 3 to the power 2002. Here in the denominator also, there is a plus sign and here this is common in both of them. So I can say here that 10 by 3 to the power 1001 times square root of, this is 3 to the power 2002. Then we can put a bracket. Since I have taken this common, we will have one here. Plus sign as it is. This is already taken common. So we have here what? That's going to be 7 to the power 2002. In the denominator, I've taken 5 to the power 2002 common. So we have 1 here, plus sign as it is. This is already taken out. So we have 7 to the power 2002. Now, if you carefully observe this, here, both of them are same in the bracket. So I can cancel this out, the entire thing. Now, we are left with square root of 3 to the power 2002 upon 5 to the power 2002. Can I write it this way? That 10 by 3 to the power 1001 times square root as it is, this is 3 by 5, this whole power 1001 and I can put a square over here. Makes sense because both of them have got the power 2002. So 2002 could be written as 1001 times 2, right? Now the square root and square will get cancelled out. We have 3 by 5 to the power 1 by uh, 1001. So we can say here that 10 by 3 to the power 1001 times this is 3 by 5 to the power 1001. If you split this up, this power 1001 is for 10 as well, for 3 as well. Similarly, for 3 as well and 5 as well. I can simply write here 10 to the power 1001 upon 3 to the power 1001. Similarly here, 3 to the power 1001 upon 5 to the power 1001. So this, both of them will get cancelled out here. We can simplify this further. This 10 over here could be written as 5 times 2, right? So that means 5 times 2, 2 means 5 to the power 1001 times 2 to the power 1001 upon 5 to the power 1001, right? Now this gets cancelled. So we are only left with basically 2 to the power 1001. So we have simplified this, but we are not done yet. Question is asking, find the digit at the unit's place. So 2 to the power 1. Now let's talk about the cyclicity of 2. So you see, if it is 2 to the power 1, then answer is 2. If it is 2 square, answer is 4. If it is 2 to the power 3, answer is 8. If it is 2 to the power 4, it is 16. At unit's place, we have 6 here. If it is 2 to the power 5, it is 32. At unit's place, the digit is 2. If it is 2 to the power 6, it is 64. Now we can see that again, it is uh, the digit at the unit's place has started repeating. 
first it is 2, then 4, then 8, then 6 and again 2, 4. That means if I talk about the cyclicity of 2, that is going to be 4 because it starts repeating itself, the unit digit after after I mean the fourth multiplication, right? So cyclicity is 4, so power is 1001. If you divide 1001 with 4, let's divide this 1001 with 4, how can I do that? So 1001 divide by 4, 4 times 2 is 8, we have 2 here, 4 times 5, this is 20 and 1, correct? So this over here could be written as what? This is leaving 1 as the remainder right this is basically what this is 2 to the power this over here is going to be 50 because obviously there is one remainder this is 2 to the power 4 times 250 plus 1 so 1 is the remainder over here since 1 is the remainder if you see 2 to the power 1 what I mean what is the unit digit here that's 2 so definitely the number at the unit place over here that's going to be 2 2 will be the final answer for this question if you talk about the simplification process that was very simple we have just used the basic concepts that we learned in exponents and powers right and then we use the cyclicity of 2 and that is very simple you see this looked tricky in the beginning but we solved it so simply now you can also try out question like this and you can different questions that you can try that you are trying if you face any difficulties you can always post your doubts in the comment section below. Thank you.